Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to Andrea's Attic. So, today we will be carrying on with Deborah Muller's Halloween Darlings, the picture we started in the last episode. Let me just uh, find the picture we're doing. We are doing uh, The uh, Bride of Frankenstein. It's just, excuse me, I just thought my TV because my TV's on. I'm just gonna, yeah, what's the most as you can hear, I'm going to pop it on pause, go back to there, get to that one, and pop that one on pause. Oh, it's a bit of a nightmare at the moment, let's go get through the adverts. Oh, lots of Halloween stuff going on, I can see. There we go. So we're going to carry on colouring this. We did start on her dress. It is taking a while because we're using the polys and obviously they take a long time to uh, build up the layering because you need to layer them rather than um, burnish them. So uh, how are you? Um, I want to say thank you to everybody who is a new subscriber and obviously I want to thank all my old subscribers for keep coming back to you. It's very much appreciated. We are now officially over the 1,000 subscribers mark, so thank you all. Um, I shouldn't take it so personally when people unsubscribe, because I do unsubscribe and subscribe and resubscribe and unsubscribe to various channels myself. It's just one of those things that happens. You, you watch things for a while and then you stop watching them and then you go back to them and then you think, oh, there's nothing else on there, I'll unsubscribe, and then they start publishing again, so you go back. So I'm not going to worry anymore. I'm just happy that you, the people who keep coming back do keep coming back. It means the world to me. So thank you and thank you for all your lovely comments. So we are still preparing for our lockdown, which begins on Friday at 6pm. All non-essential retail um, and hospitality is closing which includes pubs, clubs, restaurants, bars, hairdressers, beauty salons, clothing retail outlets. So basically the only thing retail allowed to open are like food shops, convenience stores, post offices because they're considered essential. Um, takeaways can remain open uh, if they're doing something like a delivery, I believe, so where we get our takeaway from, um, they always deliver anyway, so we're not going to have a, a problem getting a delivery, which is great. I'm relieved, because I do like my fish and chips on a Friday night. Um, so yeah, so... I mean, I can do my job from home. The idea is that if you're you can work from home, you work from home, I do that anyway, if you can't work from home and you're an essential worker you can still go. So that would include supermarket workers, um, factory workers producing food, obviously medical staff, schools and teachers. Although next week is half term and I do feel sorry for the kids that are on half term and again can't go anywhere, much like they couldn't through the whole of the summer. It's all very well saying they're doing it to minimise disruption to children's education, but they're not going to be able to do anything. They are keeping the playgrounds open, but they want people to be sensible and not overcrowd them. But there's nothing else to do, so what? It's hard to know what to, to do on this on with this, isn't it? You know, we just got to be careful. I don't really go out very much, although when you see this, I will have either been to or I will be going to Aldi supermarket. I'm so excited! I never go to Aldi's. Uh, my dad needs some help with some shopping before lockdown because he's elderly and vulnerable I can help him although we won't be visiting him during the two week lockdown just for safety because obviously me and Paul will still be out and about um, taking Jennifer to nursery because she can still go to childcare so we'll still be out in the public and I want to keep my parents as safe as possible because my dad's 80 this year and then um, but I don't go to Aldi because, um, although it's not far away, it's the other end of town. My town's like one street, <laughs> or two streets, but it's one long street with two street names. But I don't go to Aldi because I go to Lidl, because it's nearer. Let me say I don't like stuff from Aldi, I do, so I'm really looking forward to going to get a few extra bits and pieces and some different items that we we can try some different foods. 
Also Lidl has a, uh, I don't know if they are doing it at, uh, uh, at Aldi, but Lidl has a loyalty app on your, on the mobile phones. Smart app, which is great for me. My dad, they don't, mum and dad don't have smartphones because they're not very good with technology, let's be honest. So they don't have one because they wouldn't use it. So I've, I've got it. So I use Ald uh, Lidl's. So next time I go to Lidl, I get £10 off my shop. Because I spent so, because I've spent over two hundred pounds in four weeks, and sometimes we spend around seventy quid. Sometimes it's sixty. Sometimes it's ninety. It just depends on what we need. So, yeah. You're lucky I'm making this video because Jennifer was kicking off until a few minutes ago, so I want to go to bed. It's gone ten because I always do these videos late at night, unless I've got a day off and I can do them in the afternoon or the mornings, rather because I work mornings. Um, so I, she had to sleep this afternoon because she was actually shattered after nursery. Um, I shouldn't sleep for that long, just a couple hours. And then, uh, she had a dinner and we had some mango sorbet because she loves mango sorbet. And then we played for a bit, watched a bit of TV. She wanted to watch Peter Rabbit, so we watched that and then we put her to bed. And she's been chattering to herself ever since. And I came up to do this video and Paul's gone to bed. And she decided to kick off again. So I went in and I had a quick chat with her and a cuddle. And gave her a drink of water. I said, now go back to sleep. And she was kicking off. And I thought, I'm not going to be able to film. Because I don't want her screaming in the background. It's not fair on her. It's not fair on you guys. And it makes me look like a bad mum. But sometimes kids just don't want to sleep at night. Um, sometimes she'll just sit and chatter and play with her toys and she does, but she's gone quiet now so she's oh I can hear her just chattering to herself that's why I'm trying to talk a bit, little bit quietly because I don't want her to know I've not gone to sleep even though obviously I haven't because I'm doing this and uh, I want her to to try to go sleep she's got nursery tomorrow and she'll want to play with her friends and it's nice to see her with friends and play with other other kids that are they're a little bit older than her she's the same height as them but they are a little bit older um, so yeah it's really nice to see her playing with the kids and running around with them whereas before she wouldn't but now she she loves playing with them the other children which is nice because She's a, such a, a affectionate little girl and she loves people. She's just a bit scared of them sometimes, which is a shame. But um, she is so nice. She's such a ch lovely child. It's like she'll, she's helped daddy with the washing up now. She gets her little step. Um, which we use for when she's cleaning her teeth and washing her hands and things like that and she gets a little step out and she she's there at the um the sink and she's just so adorable she is absolutely gorgeous doing it and so he washes that stuff away because I also do most of the cooking not all. He does it on the weekend because it gives him a break. He says he does like to cook every now and again. Not when he's stressed and wound up from a day at, the, at work, but he does. So, I let him cook on the weekend. Oh, there she goes. Can you hear her? Oh, coffin. She has got cold still, which is a shame. Poor kid. I do feel for her sometimes. She's got such a bad cold. Love her heart. She's a good girl. So we're just going to try and get this nicely layered up now. I will leave the dress soon and do something else so uh, you can see something else. I just quite like doing the dress. It's quite a nice I'm relaxing just going over this over and over. So. 
can hear her. I do hope you're all staying nice and safe wherever you are and looking after yourselves. If you're sick, please, please take care of yourself, whether it's just a cold or anything else, and I hope it's nothing serious. Um, we are all looking after ourselves here as much as we can. We are going out wearing masks, we're sanitising our hands and our trolleys and our bags and everything and washing our hands lots and doing everything we can to minimise the risk of contracting it but uh, especially me with my asthma um, trying to get as much colouring done as I can because I, I, I do find it very relaxing especially in the evenings when I'm, uh, I'm chilling out before bed I put on some documentaries on YouTube or listen to an audio book or just nothing, just sit in silence or maybe listen to some music, get one of the books out, start colouring and it is so nice to just, it really helps me relax, I will admit it really does, it takes my mind off of things and so I'm hoping that today or tomorrow, because it's Wednesday night, you'll be seeing this on Thursday, that Phil will finish the light in my shed. So I can pack orders in the evening. I'll have no excuse not to crack on with work, um, doing the eBay work once the shed light is in, because I can go in at any time of day or night. He needs to ask him to fix the door as well, because the uh, handle's coming off handle comes off, I can't like, look at the shed. I'll ask him to have a look at it tomorrow. He's a handy bloke to know, He's done, he does lots of work, he's good. So, he's a good bloke. He bought Jennifer a cuddly rabbit when she was born, an outfit and a small pink blanket, which she still has. She cuddles up to it. She, when she's downstairs and goes to sleep in her her travel cot, which we've still got, because she still can't climb out of it, although she's getting close to being able to, I will admit. Um, she falls asleep in there, we cover her up with it, and she clings to it. She loves that blanket. <laughs> So yeah, apparently Dad said they got some art supplies in, in Aldi. Now, I don't know what they've got. She said, oh, they got some colouring pens or something, he said. And I thought, ooh. I know they've had them in, in uh, Lidl's. And I always pick up the stuff in Lidl, so I'm going to have a look tomorrow in Aldi. I'm also going to get a few other bits and pieces. I'm not just going over for that, but... Because I said to Dad, oh, can you get me this if you go over? I saw something he had in his fridge and he said it was from Aldi. He said, oh, you can come over with me tomorrow if you want. And I went, oh, okay, come, come and help me. I think he's stocking up the freezer, to be honest. So he doesn't have to go out as much. And it makes sense, because he is 80. I mean, he's healthy as an ox. He's fitter than I am. Up until this, he was still going to the gym a couple of times a week. He's amazing amazing person and uh, yeah okay I think this one's going to take a long time I hope you don't mind we uh Stuck on this for a long time. I'm quite enjoying it. Although there's so many pictures I really want to colour in, it's unreal. Oops, she's off again. <laughs> she will do this on and off for a bit until she gets tired and falls asleep. Or I give in and we go downstairs and watch Peter Rabbit, which I'm going to try not to do because. I actually do want to go to sleep soon. I'm tired myself and I want to 
to have a little sleep before work in the morning. <sighs> I've only got to do tomorrow and I'll Friday off as I'm using up annual leave. Um, and like I said, I should probably make a few videos. Um, I shall definitely finish the Arteza swatching because it's taken me a long time to swatch it because it's just, it's just trying to fit it in with all the other stuff I'm doing as well, what with eBay and other videos. I mean, I'm dying to use them. I really am. I can't wait. And I'm also trying to die to try and use them with um, the Arteza markers as well to see how they go on top and all that because obviously the colours do, some of the colours are matching so they'll, they should look good. So, but at the moment I'm more interested in putting out decent colouring charts and flip throughs and my weekly vlog and I do want to do this because I have um, some stuff in my Amazon cart that I want to get next month. When I say next month it's when I get paid which is a week Friday, a week tomorrow because we get paid on the last working day of the month. There we are. That's that one. And that one was that one. No, that one was that one. And that one was that one. And I just want a bit of this one. This one? Yeah. And just a quick layer up here with this one. Okay, so there's all sorts of things coming out of the ground, isn't there? Like tentacles, there's a few worms. Let's have a look. I think we'll do the grass at the bottom now. I'm going to do that quite a dark green. I'm going to do a pine because I've, well, I have got a new pine green one somewhere. Chrome oxide, chrome oxide green. Yeah, I've got a new pine one. I ordered one. I got a lot of books that I want to to re finish this year reading before um you know you know because I have not hit my Goodreads challenge um for the last couple of years mainly because I've been busy with Jennifer which is understandable and of course I've been coloring a lot more um my Goodreads challenge for this year is 75 five books. At one point it was 150 and I was hitting it easily. Um, it just goes to show, doesn't it? But now it's uh, down to 75 and I've, I've got to read three books a week to complete it. So I really need to finish this Jack the Ripper book because I know the two Marilyn ones probably won't take me that long and I've got an audio book on the go that I really want to finish. There's only about 30 minutes left in it. Um, they've caught the, the killer it's called the deaths of december they've caught the killer but his sister was murdered which started it all off and he says he did kill his sister even though they well he was saying he didn't and then they forced him to admit that he did so he probably didn't because it's still 40 minutes ago and i think i know who did it and yeah it's quite oh it's quite creepy the thought of that person if, if it is that person um but there's only 30 minutes to go so it can't be anybody we haven't had or haven't met so i've got a feeling i know who it is it might not be it might be completely wrong but uh i really want to find out if i'm right so I might listen to that after I've done this. So is there anybody out there actually going to be doing Vlogmas this year? For me, I do my weekly vlog, so I'm just going to do that. I'm not going to do every single day at the moment because with the fact you can't really go very far unless that changes magically in the last month, the next month, in the next like six, five weeks. I can't see me doing very much Christmas. Chris isn't coming home, so I haven't got the stuff I normally do with him to do. Um, I'm probably gonna do the majority of my shopping online. Um, 
some of it I'll get in supermarkets, but there are some small shops in Risca when they reopen I might uh, get a few bits from that I quite fancy for various people. But in general it's... I hate not supporting shops. I hate ordering everything online from the big you-know-who. But, I mean, I do it with my colouring books and that because it's the easiest place to get them. We don't have um, places like Hobby Lobby and Michaels and Joann's in the UK. We have something called Hobbycraft, which is similar, but they only have a very small uh, colouring book section and magazine section, which is mostly magazines about crafts, which is fine. They do sell some colouring books, but not a huge amount. We don't have book outlet. So... We're really resigned to Book Depository, Amazon and what few shops do do colouring books which is that the works, some from Hobbycraft, um, W. H. Smith or W. H. Smith which is, they, they get some nice stuff in W. H. Smith. Um, other than that it's it's the big big Amazon, the big A. But it, it's just too convenient to get everything off of there so... But. You've also got to decide, is it worth going out when cases are rising again and risking your health? I mean, it swings and roundabouts. I want to help out. So I'll try and support my local shops. So there's some local gift shops in Risco. There's a, um, uh, a spiritualist shop called Raven's Nest. And then there's the... No zero pollinate, uh, zero waste shop. They have some lovely stuff in. Um, so there are some nice shops in Risca. Uh, there's Thoughts, which is the card shop. If I'm not going to a super into Tesco, then I get my cards from there, which I probably won't be. I've only been to Tesco once since lockdown, the original lockdown, and that was uh, the other day. Because. Um, um, what did we go in for? I needed some trousers. <laughs> I needed some comfy trousers to wear around the house. Jogging bottoms, really. Joggers. Um, and uh, I bought three pairs and a pair of pyjamas. Colouring book for me. Colouring book and some pens for Jennifer. Um, sandwiches because we we pause mum who's on her own so we can still see her because she's outside of she's on her own she's got no one else it's just moved um, we took her over some lunch some sandwiches and some bits she needed so we'll go and see her again this weekend so we can actually go and see his mum because she's on her own the rule says that if you're on your own or a single parent you can form a bubble with one of the households so um, we'll at least be able to go in and see her, which is good because there's nothing more miserable than being stuck on your own, not being able to go anywhere. And she's just moved, so she doesn't know anybody properly yet. It's a nice place she's moved to, though. And she has met the neighbour, um, but uh, with everybody being careful, you know, she's got a shop literally around the corner. She's got a spa, a laundress. There's a chip shop. So she's she's all right for for those, and the post office is right there. So she's she'll be all right. We just uh, need to keep give her some company. Which is which is what she needs. Eh. That's that one. That bit, we'll do a lighter, I think we, I was going to do it as a path, but as there's worms on them, I am going to do it as a lighter green. Not a bright, bright green, but a slightly lighter green. So we'll use a uh, permanent green olive, which is a darkish, it shouldn't be as dark. It's interesting, wondering what Christmas is going to be like this year. I mean... It says it's already my brother's not coming home for the first year in 10 years but at least he won't be on his own because he can go to stay with my other brother who also lives in, in New Zealand just off the um, 
coast of Auckland so hopefully as long as he's allowed to go out there he should be able to. It's part of New Zealand so uh, they should be fine now. Which is great, it's good to, good to know that they're safe out there and uh, he won't be on his own so that's the main thing. My mum and dad have got each other, it's just Paul. Paul's mum hasn't got anybody so hopefully we'll be able to have her around for Christmas. And uh, like we have the last couple of years since um, we got pregnant with Jennifer. She came around that Christmas was the first one. Prior to that, Paul would go to his mum's for Christmas and I'd go to my mum's for Christmas. And of course we are our own family so we spend it at home. Which is fine. So yeah, it's really nice to see everybody. Chris will come home as soon as he can, I think, for a holiday. We'll have to, have to see. Always oh, meant to email him and I haven't. I'll do it from my phone in a minute. Let's just remind him the clocks go back this weekend because he always forgets. So it's just annoying to be going back into lockdown, but it's got to be done. But um, sorting out Jennifer's Christmas presents, uh, me and Paul aren't that bothered. We will have a few bits and pieces. Um, I'll, I'll have my Colour in Heaven subscription. He'll have some music and aftershave and stuff like that. And uh, mostly it's about Jennifer now. Getting presents for her. I know what I'm getting my mum. Dad's always a pain. And uh, it's hard to get stuff for Paul's mum, to be honest, as well. She's not that easy to buy for, but uh, we'll find something. We always do. So we'll be quizzing on Friday this week. It is, as long as I can get tickets, because I've left it quite late. It's a musicals quiz, um, which is fun. I won't win. We never do. But we just do it because it's fun to do it. It's, uh, we can't go out. We certainly can't go out anymore um, for the next two weeks. So we might as well uh, enjoy the quizzing while we can. Yeah, so lockdown is from Friday the 23rd to Monday the... 9th I think it is of November so we're going to have to find stuff for Jennifer to do because chances are the rain it's going to be horrible weather now we can put our rain clothes on and go out for a walk um, which is fine but uh, I'll clear the big table off properly because I've got a load of uh, records on there for cleaning and we can set up a painting station and she can paint with things she just paint for hours and then, you know, she makes a hell of a mess. You've got to clear it up and there's paint everywhere. But she has got a um, little overalls to wear. She's got two so that, well, one's being washed and drying because they're plastic so you don't heat dry them. The other one she can wear. So this is going to go off in a minute. But that's okay. And we'll just restart it and carry on. We, again, we haven't done much in this video because it's polys and they do take a while to layer it down. But the colours are so pretty on the polys. And I'm quite enjoying myself. <laughs> okay. Right, 
that went off so I put it back on now if you like I was gonna say if you like um, paranormal mysteries and murder mysteries um, with a hint of mystery and paranormal it's, it's, there is some paranormal stuff in it but not a huge amount um, Cursing Wife series the, the perfectly paranormal or the yeah um, the perfectly paranormal museum or something like that it's called it's, it's absolutely really good actually I've read three of the four and I plan on getting the fourth one soon the second one is called pressed to death and the third one is deja mu very very funny very very good books um quick reads don't take too long well they didn't take me long um but I, then i if i get into a book i'll just sit and read it so no aspersions on the jack the ripper book i'm reading because it's really good it's just it's very graphic um because it's the coroner's inquest and it's reprinted so it tells you all about the um the wounds that were inflicted the mutilations on on the the five canonical canonical victims so and i'm on the, the most horrific one now mary kelly so i won't go into it but if you are interested and you want to see what happened you can find photographs of her mutilated remains on the internet just click in mary kelly death photograph and you'll find it um, it's been published numerous times in many Jack the Ripper books um, it is not pleasant I don't let Jennifer look at any of the Jack the Ripper books um, so the the pictures of the uh, abyss from the of the abyss is fine because it's just locations there's no actual crime scene photos in there or photographs of the bodies at the mortuary I wouldn't I don't want her seeing those at the moment she's far too young that's why they are also kept on a top shelf in a bookcase. She could probably get to them if she wanted to, but uh, they're in my, uh, in the spare bedroom, which she doesn't go in. So, nope. It's about uh, doing wormies. <laughs> Yeah. So, bless her heart. I think she might have gone to sleep. I hope she's gone to sleep. <laughs> Love her. So we're just going to. Oh no, she's still awake. I can hear her. Let's put a layer of pink on. She's not screaming though, she's just yelling out every now and again, trying to get some attention. But it is way past her bedtime and she needs to sleep, otherwise she's just not going to want to go to nursery tomorrow and she'll be all miserable and she'll be a nasty little miss bug. Well, grouchy, grouchy gats I call her when she's miserable. And that is understandable if you haven't had any sleep. But, uh, and I'm just going to put a little layer of grey around their little... the joints she says as she moves the book out for you you can't really see that but I know it I can see it so um. I do like a bit of um Every time I move the book, it's because it's sitting on my knee. That's it. Okay, that'll do. So yeah, it's all good. Ooh, I must admit, I am getting very, very tired. And it's not anybody's fault. 
So I'm going to give her a pair of Louboutins. And as we all know, they have red soles. But I'm going to give her black shoes with red soles, just because I can. Like that. I'm going to give her some pink legs, but I'm going to go over it with a black because she's wearing fishnet stockings. So I'm not really going to make a big deal of her legs. Her legs are the newest part. <laughs> oh, I do love a bit of horror, don't you? I don't really watch horror films anymore. I think at the moment this year horror it's been horrible enough without having to watch a horror film so as much as i love horror films i can live without uh, watching anything to do with zombies and things like that so what i'm gonna do is i can't wait um i, I got loads of films i want to watch but i'm not gonna be watching horror ones uh the only horror title i'm likely to watch with horror in it is the rocky horror show because you know who doesn't need a bit of frankenfurter in their life Okay. Who doesn't need a bit of Frankenfurter in their life? That's what I say. Because I know I do. <sighs> I definitely need some Frankenfurter. But yeah, it's all good fun in it, you know. I, mean, I don't watch a lot of Christmas movies, though I do like the Polar Express. I can't really watch Christmas movies in a long time. The only Christmas movie I really like to watch every year is It's a Wonderful Life, which is obviously a classic with uh, Jimmy Stewart. I do like that, that um, film. I always have. Every time you hear a bell, an angel gets his wings. Makes me cry every time. I've got loads of films I want to watch and I should do. I just don't get round to it. Maybe if Paul has a Zoom with his friend again soon, I might do it. He might do one next weekend. On Friday, on the Friday. The Friday before Halloween. The night before. I got a load of Cary Grant films. I still haven't watched. I got a load. I was watching um, one I haven't finished. I might try and finish it tomorrow. Um, My Favourite Wife. Um, Cary Grant and Irene Dunn. And it was... Um, supposed to be remade into something has got to give with Marilyn Monroe but she died during production she was fired, rehired and died as you do and then it was made into Move Over Darling with Doris Day and I have seen all the versions apart from the Irene Need and, and Carry Out version so I've uh, got the unfinished footage from the Marilyn version and I've got the Doris Day version and I've seen them all, I've seen them both, so I just want to watch the original. And from what the bits I've watched um, uh, that uh, were reproduced for the Marilyn version, the, the dialogue in some cases is absolutely identical. Um, originally they wrote a, a slightly different script and then the director Cuca wanted to go back to the original flavour so it was rewritten again. Now you've got to remember that Marilyn had um, approved the script that she read but Cuca didn't like it so he threw it out and they started again and she didn't like it so. Uh, but I think it, it, it worked out, it would have been an alright film had she got to make it. I think it would have it, it wouldn't have been a brilliant movie it's not up there with some like it hot or even blondes or itch but it would have been a good movie it would have been a decent enough movie had had it been finished so I think it's a great shame it wasn't 
um, but it, but that is just what has happened. I've got a very light layer of a sort of brown over these bandages. So I'm not sure what else colour to do them. And I'm going to do her whole arm in bandages. So I'm not going to put any skin under that. She's just still wrapped up. And then I'll go over it with grey afterwards. Yeah, so, so it would have been an alright uh, movie, I think. Something's got to give had it been completed. Like I said, not as good as Some Like It Hot, but then there aren't many films that are good as Some Like It Hot, let's be honest. Some Like It Hot was just an amazing movie. not the first movie I saw but uh, it, I've, it's the, the only one I've seen in the cinema though I'd love to see some more in the cinema but uh, it's probably not going to happen anytime soon if ever but uh, I'm happy to be able to watch them at home at my leisure when I want to because it's it's a really nice thing to have to spend an evening doing. Sometimes watching these films, they are they are comedy films. Most of them. She did do some dramatic work, which is great to see. Uh, for instance, Bus Stop was quite dramatic. It was a comedy, but it had a lot of drama. Obviously, The Misfits, uh, Don't Bother to Knock, Niagara was a colour sort of film noir which they don't make colour film noirs. The whole point of film noir is it's in black and white, but this one was um, the, the the bell tower scene at the oh that is classic. Only Hitchcock could have done it better. Um, well, oh, lovely film. She looks beautiful in that in Niagara. Um, the first film I ever saw was *Jam for Blondes*, and I remember it vividly. I remember exactly when it was. Um, I don't know the exact day but I know it was August and I know it was August 1987. It was the 25th anniversary of her death and they were doing a retrospective on Channel 4. Uh, so it was August so it was school holidays which is good. So I actually said to my mum is it alright if I stay up and watch this movie? Um, so it was on quite late. Um, my mum said, yeah, that's fine, just turn everything off when you go to bed. And I can remember sitting on the floor cross-legged in front of the TV watching Gentlemen Prefer Blondes on my own. And I was mesmerised by the colour. Um, and this is before they were all restored digitally so and I fell in love with that film um started collecting Marilyn stuff then now I really only collect the odd item that I really like so I got the funk one of the Funko Pops I like that and I've got my collection I've sold a few magazines just because it's they're just sitting in a box um actually most of it's sitting in a box at the moment but in general the magazines have always been in boxes and I just don't see the point somebody else can enjoy them more than I can um, but books mostly I buy now if they're any good. So, to add to my book collection, I'm a member of two fan clubs. I have to pay my dues for one of them, so I must get that done fairly soon. And then, um, Yeah, it's mostly the books I collect. I love my book collection. Even if I don't read them very often. I, I might next year 
try and reread them, some of them. I haven't read for a while. Get some of the picture books and look at the pictures and reread them. There's some of them it's been a very long time since I read them. And they are a lovely book, so I'm not going to lie. That one. A light one now. Just to do the lettering. See you. So it's like because it's engraved, it can be slightly lighter. It's slightly lighter than the dark, but darker than the light. That makes... Oh! Put one away again, and I had to clean out the battery compartment of my battery-powered um, sharpener because it had, all the stuff had got into the battery compartment. And I was like, oh no, I'm going to have to change the batteries. Which is fine, because I've got batteries up here, but... And then I thought, hang on, just have a look at the batteries. And I thought, I thought for a fact minute they'd leaked because it was like covered in stuff and I looked and I thought oh no it's just shavings and I thought well that's a bit odd I better get them out so there's still so much of this picture to do it's the background I'm wondering should I do the, I mean I'm probably going to do the background off camera because it's just going to be a load of very dark blue probably Oh, let's see how it goes. Because we're nearly at 40 minutes. Not that I mind. I'm quite happy to sit here and talk rubbish to you all, all evening if you want. Uh, yeah, we're nearly at 40 minutes. They look like flames, but I don't think they are. I think it's just going to be dirt where it's cracked, so I'll do that very dark or... It's because it's um, subsided, this grave. He really will see you later if he's subsided. Won't he? It's funny. <laughs> I'm just going to do the graves, I think, and then I'll call it a night because I've got work in the morning and it's getting on. Um, I've enjoyed this though, it has been so much fun doing these. I like this picture. Um, with just over a week to go uh, till the end of the month I'm now into whip finishing. Um, even though there's lots of pictures I haven't even started that I want to do, it's awful. But then tomorrow night I'm not filming because I'm going to film on Friday morning when I'm off, do a bit of eBay, do a bit of filming. Um, do a bit of colouring in general. I'll uh, try and do uh, get through some of those whips. i still got like a stack of books I haven't coloured in. A stack of books I've started. <laughs> and a stack of new books that uh, I haven't done yet. But then next month I'm just going to carry on colouring whatever I want to. So if I want to carry on colouring Halloween next month, I'm going to. So I got the Beauty of Horror books and I'm colouring in one of those. And I might colour in that tomorrow night actually. But I want to colour in the other Beauty of Horror book. But then they don't, they're not actually Halloween themed. They're just horror books. So you can colour in them any time of year really. You know, I might do a few Christmas ones next year, next week. I don't know yet, next month rather. 
it, it literally November is a whatever you want month so if it's something new that's cool if it's something I haven't coloured in before that is fine if it's something I've coloured uh, several pages in and I want to do another one of them that's fine too it's literally anything goes next month there's no rhyme reason or pattern I have been asked to colour in a book and I can't remember what one it was Tattoo Grey Scale by Jade Summer so I will get my uh, markers out and we'll colour in that one next month yeah what it's like sometimes you think what was it so because I got the two of the three tattoo books and one of them is Grey Scale so we will do tattoo grayscale. Which I think will be quite nice. It might be a one video episode. There might only be the one episode of it. It depends which picture I cho choose. I haven't chosen yet. Normally I plan out what I'm going to do or what pictures I want to do in each book for the month. Sometimes it does change. Um, but not always and um, but next month I'm not I'm literally going to do whatever I feel at the time that I feel like it these remind me of things in the Lego Harry Potter game they come out and sting you and they have to use the spell on it the light spell. I'm not big on Harry Potter. I've read all the books. I haven't seen all the films, but I cannot remember any of it. The stuff, the various. I can remember it, the basic plots, but I can't remember the details. So there we go. I'm just going to do the crack at the bottom. And I think I'll do that with uh, this one. So the next time we will have some metallic and glitter gel pen going on on her earrings and her body and the lightning and stars and puffs of smoke. Um, I still got these to do which will be dark green I think. And uh, yeah, I might do that with a, that pine green in a minute. Yeah. I think I'll do those. I have started doing the picture in Serene I wanted to start. I've, I'm literally just doing the um, the base. This is my pine green. <laughs> That's going to be even shorter in a minute. Yeah, I've started doing I've, the marker base. I haven't quite finished it yet. Background, I'm possibly going to use dis distressed inks on. I'm not sure yet. I'm not quite. I haven't quite decided. Um, possibly. I'm going to. I'm going to test it because I know how I want it to look. So I'm going to actually practice what I want it to look like on a blank piece of paper, uh, art paper first, just to just to see. And if it looks good, then that's what I'm going to do the background as. But that's one that's going to be going on for a little while. I'm not rushing that one because I want it to look nice. It looks good, actually, just with the marker base on it. But I do want to put a bit of colour onto it because it's all grey at the moment because it's a, a stone angel. And uh, But I'm going to put... I want it to look... My idea is that... Uh, She's an angel in Oz and she's been frozen by Mumbai. Uh, Mumbai got distracted and didn't chop her head off. Um, so there's a little bit of life in there, a little bit of colour, but most of it's statue. It's that sort of look I'm going for. I, I'm just odd. I don't normally put a, a story to a picture, but I, I you know, there's just something beautiful about it. So I'm just going to put a bit, a bit of pink in the the skin and even though she's cracked and she's falling apart there's still a little tiny spark of life in her and I was going to do a bluey grey background but I think with all the grey it's going to be too much so I'm going to go for a, a 
sort of like a stormy sunset kind of look. I know what I'm I'm thinking, but I've got to practice it first. So I'm just doing these and then that'll be enough for today. If I get a chance, I might actually do the background before the next video. It depends on how well I'm doing with the rest of my whips. If I'm doing all right, then I will. I just got to decide which blue. I'll do a dark blue sky. I gotta be honest, I use pine green a lot because I really like the color. I do, I really like the colour pine. Um, oh, nearly done. Here, I'm just going to have a look at what colour I want for my sky. That's not the sort of colour I want. Ooh, what's this sort of purpley colour? I always use the back pages to test. Mm. Ooh, this one I'm going to use. Both this colour for my background. So if I just show you. So it's sort of a bluey purple. I think the background would be nice that colour. Obviously I'm not going to do it all now because we're already at uh oh you can't even see it, this colour. So it's sort of like dusk. It's not night time but it's dusk. That's nice actually. It will take me a while to colour the background. But uh like I said I'm not gonna do it all now because we are at forty seven minutes. So but that's uh, gonna be the background. So I will try and do the background before we do the next video. So it doesn't look like we've done a lot really because there is a lot of background and there's all the stars and the lightning and puffs of smoke and things which we'll be doing in the next video. The background will be done by then and then there's just going to be a little bit of glitter and stuff. But that's it so far. I hope you've enjoyed this colour and chat with me. Uh, if you have, give this video a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to... Um, uh, share the video with your friends, uh, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and I'll see you in the ne next video. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you soon. Bye now!